Hi, this is Dr. Kathy Henshaw, Senior Manager of Test Administration at the American Dental Association, and this is Tips on Preparing for the Dental Admission Test. I wanted to give you um, just a little overview of what the DAT program is all about. It's been in operation since the 50s. If you are interested in the historical perspective of this testing program, I provided a link for you. The purpose of the test is designed to measure general academic ability, comprehension of scientific information, and perceptual ability. These are the things upon which the tests are built. Uh, the test content, the administration policies and procedures, score, scoring, reporting, and the interpretation of scores. Our validity studies confirm that the test scores, in conjunction with your academic records, are useful predictors in the performance of dental school. All the dental schools do require examinees to participate in the DAT program, but the test results are only one consideration in evaluating the examinee potential. There are several standards that um, we hold the program under. These are what we call our operating principles. These standards set um, and maintain standards for the profession. We ensure that it's a valid, reliable, and credible test. There are national standards that we comply with, and they're called the Standards for Educational and Psychological Testing. We ensure that the test is cost-effective, that we uphold uh, extensive security and, and protection of our content and intellectual property, and that you as an examinee are given reasonable opportunity to demonstrate your achievement ability and that that opportunity is fair and equitable. This is the testing format. This is for standard administration. It is computer-based, and it's administered by Prometric Test Centers in the United States and territories, Guam, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. For standard administration, there is a five-hour testing window. This is the sequence of the test. Uh, you may be familiar with the four sections, the Survey of Natural Sciences, the Perceptual Ability Test, or PAT, Reading Comprehensive, and the QRT, or Quantitative Reasoning. Total of 280 questions. Our DAT guide has very specific information on the test specifications. It provides detail um, of the subtopics. Uh, under each of these individual tests. There are some changes um, coming to the DAT. Uh, these changes will be implemented no sooner than 2015, and they're surrounding two areas, critical thinking and biology. Uh, now remember, these are not new topics. These topics already exist within the DAT. There's just going to be more emphasis or strengthening of the areas um, in both of these components. Test administration, uh, the application process is electronic. You have a six-month window in which to uh, take the test after your, your application's been processed. You should keep an eye on the DAT website. You're going to see some changes in the application process. We're updating our systems. We expect that to happen somewhere between May and September. There are almost 300 testing centers and over 5,000 seats available to um, take the DAT. Now, we only use professional level testing centers, and that's because of the security level. <coughs> Excuse me, there is further information about this biocheck in procedures the video monitoring through Prometric. And I have listed the fees here for you. Now, I want to also notify you that this entire presentation is now available on our website. I'm going to show you a little further uh, where you can actually download this and review it at your leisure. This is a checklist of issues that cause most examinees problems on the day of testing. Please note that you'll get this along with your confirmation page from us when your application has been processed. And please pay attention to it. 
Um, I get many a panicked phone call from a tester standing at the test center experiencing one of these issues. And it essentially stops you from testing and will cause you to forfeit all your testing fees. So please pay close attention uh, when this document comes through. You may be wondering when the best time to take your test is. This is a chart or visual uh, depiction of our testing volumes. So you can see the peak months. Uh, it definitely follows a pattern. Uh, everybody waits until uh, kind of the last minute to do their final testing. And hence you see those peaks in June, July, and August. We do provide testing accommodations for individuals who have disabilities uh, under the Americans with Disability Act. There are some documents that you need to provide. So before you submit your application, you should provide this request for testing accommodations. There's a form and then a complete evaluation from a licensed healthcare professional. That evaluation needs to include the diagnostic procedures or tests that were administered, the results of those procedures and tests, the diagnosis of your disorder or disability, and the specific recommendations for testing accommodations. Uh, we cannot process your application until this portion has been completed. This just gives you an indication of the volume of testing accommodations that we have provided over the last four years. This is not just for the DAT program. Uh, we have four testing programs through Prometric, and this is a depiction of all four testing programs. Score reporting and scoring. When you finish your testing appointment, you will get an unofficial score report at the test center. If you have any problems with that, you can call our office and staff will provide you with the unofficial report. We do review all of our test administrations for irregularities and there are penalties for misconduct and or cheating. You should make sure to check the guide uh, under testing irregularities for uh, further clarification on this. Once we receive the scores, we audit them and then your official score is reported electronically to the institutions you indicated on your application about three to four weeks after your testing appointment. How is the DAT scored? It's based on the number of correct answers that you provide. Those correct answers or raw scores are converted to scaled scores. We have what we call an equating process which adjusts for differences in the difficulty among the test forms. The DAT committee reviews the examinee performance um, to look for trends and any potential changes. And if you want detailed specifics on how this scoring process occurs, you can see a document called the DAT User's Manual. I'm going to show you where that's at a little bit later. But you cannot hand calculate your score. It's a complex statistical formula uh, and it cannot be done on a manual basis. So I would suggest that you take a look at that user's manual for further info. You are allowed to retest. You have to wait 90 days between retests. And if you have taken the DAT three or more attempts, you have to apply for permission to retest. And you have to provide evidence that you're still intending to apply to dental school. It can be a copy of your ANSA application a rejection letter from a dental school or a letter from your dental school admission officer or pre-health advisor. We do have a reschedule policy which allows you to reschedule up to and including the day before your testing appointment. You will contact Prometric directly and pay a fee to Prometric. Um, we are required by Prometric uh, and our contract with them to pay any appointments for which a candidate or examinee does not show. We do have a number of reschedules and no-shows, and you'll see that by the chart indicated here. Uh, this is just for 2013. We had about 50% of our examinees um, reschedule their appointments at least once. This is uh, the post-survey test 
that we uh, gather at the end of the testing experience. And you'll note that over 95% of examinees are either very satisfied or satisfied with uh, their testing experience. Now this is a page that you'll probably want to print out later and go back and look at individually. These are different pieces from our website that I believe can be very helpful to you in preparing for the DAT. Everything from the DAT guide to a list of frequently asked questions to that testing checklist. There's information about the application process. <clears throat> Excuse me, information about testing accommodations. There's a tutorial on the DAT. There are several pages within the website that you'll find helpful. We do have practice tests available, both web-based and paper-based. It's the same test, whether you do it web or paper. It's just two different formats available for you. There are questions, from, frequently asked questions from Prometric, and also what to expect on test day for Prometric. This is a depiction and the URL of the website for the DAT. Please note that uh, this website's going to be changing here uh, in the next month or two, so this visual may look different when you actually go to the website. Uh, the American Dental Association is updating their website so that it's more user-friendly with tablets and smartphones, but this really is the piece that you'll find most helpful to you. Uh, we've spent a lot of time putting information on here to uh, kind of help walk you through the process of how you apply, take the test, and get your scores. And so if you'll take the time to walk through this, I think you'll find it helpful. This is actually the most important guide that you can spend time with. This is the DAT guide. It has all the information about the test. It has the test specifications. It has the fee information. It has the score reporting information. Uh, there's just information about the uh, testing irregularities. So please uh, take time to leaf through this document, become familiar with it. Um, most of the questions that you have will be answered by this program bulletin. This is a page that often gets overlooked on our website and note that it's called DAT Resources. Here you'll find newsletters with recent information about the DAT. You'll find presentations such as this posted, and that's where this presentation is now located. You will find our validity study. You'll find the user's manual, which has the scoring information. There's additional examinee information, and there's a list of textbooks that have been put together by the test construction committee members. Uh, that they suggest that you use in preparing for your test. I will be available in the chat room from 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, both April 29th and April 30th to answer your questions. This is also further uh, contact information. There's an 800 number and an email address, and we do have staff available to answer your questions. So thank you for visiting the presentation and best wishes on your future career in dentistry.